Rob Render with Mets catching prospect Kevin Plowacki. You're in your first big league camp this year. You actually just had, had an opportunity to catch some uh, big leaguers or hopeful big leaguers in right. the uh, bullpen session a few moments ago. What was that like? What's the experience been like so far overall? Uh, it's been great. I mean, it's I mean, granted, it's uh, day one, but um, just getting to know these guys and just being in this locker room is, is an honor as it is. You know, just trying to learn as much as I can early on and um, just in this, you know, the time that I'm over here in spring training, just to, you know, get to know these guys and learn as much as I can from, you know, the players and the coaching staff. And uh, uh, the pitchers are looking good. Uh, caught Leather Sitch and uh, Mazzoni today. They look really good. And I'm um, just trying to switch up the guys I catch every day so I can, you know, um, get used to, you know, all the guys, especially, you uh, you know, the guys I'll be catching in spring training games, so uh, things work as smoothly as possible. And, uh, you know, yeah, things have been going really well. The way that the locker room is set up, all the catchers are grouped together. Have you already started to pick everybody else's brains? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it's kind of, you know, what I, what I feel like is, is important, especially during this time of year. And uh, just getting to know each other, really, just establishing a relationship, you know, more than anything, so that, you know, if, if you ever have questions, not even right now, but during the season even, um, you can text them or give them a call, and you know these the other catchers in there, and you know, and this whole organization are great um, to each other, and you know we, we work really well together. This has got to be an incredible learning experience for you, as I mentioned, your first big league camp. But how eager does it make you feel? How uh, how much does it make you want to rush and get to the big leagues? You know, it, it's it's definitely um, you know it's a process, you know, but but this is just you know one step closer. Um, you know, in a sense to, you know, getting there and, um, you know, wh whatever the road is ahead, um, it's just as long as I can stay healthy and, um, you know, you know, play as hard as I can, you know, the numbers and all that stuff will take care of itself. But um, just try and stay who I am and, you know, have fun doing it. You know, when the, whenever the time's right, it'll be right, you know, whenever that time is. You played in college, of course, so you're a little bit older. You're not a kid who came straight out of high school. At your advanced age, if we're going to call it that, do you feel as though that gets you a little bit closer to the big leagues, that you can adjust a little bit quicker than some of the younger guys? Yeah, I mean, just from the learning you know, standpoint in, um, in college ball, calling my own game for four years, I mean, three years there, um, helped me out tre tremendously going into pro ball, um, doing that day in and day out. And, you know, just mainly learning the pitching staff, you know, learn, learning their strengths, you know, learning what pitches they can throw in certain counts and, um, just getting to know them the best as I can, but you know I think that you know college definitely prepared me you know uh, really well for you know this next level, and um, you know hopefully in, in the major leagues you know one day. I'm sure you're going to talk to Bob Guerin quite a bit. He's a former catcher. He worked quite a bit with Travis Darno. I saw last year. Has he said anything specifically to you yet? No, um, I mean we're just getting to know each other still. You know it's still early, and um, you know I met, I met him last year. We got to talking quite a bit, and uh, you know he's just a great guy. He knows the game really well, and, and, and is a good guy to you know to talk to and learn from. And um, you know he's he's done it. You know, and, and these other guys in the locker room have all been in the big leagues at one point or another. You know, those other four catchers in there. So um, it's just you know it's working hard and get to know, like I said, the, the players especially and the coaching staff. And you know Bob Guerin's a great guy to you know to be um, getting taught from. So just learning a lot, and he's he's a great guy to be around. It's Florida, it's spring training, it's baseball. How much of it is pressure as compared to an enjoyable overall experience? Well, I mean, you always hear, uh, you know, just like anything, it's, it's business. You know, this is, this is our job, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice job to have, you know, and, and you can't take that for granted, you know, because, you know, you know how injuries go and you know how, how things go. It's just, you know, it's part of the game, and you've got to treat it, you know, treat it every day like it's your last and just play, you know, as hard as you can and, you um, you know, the chips will fall, you know, just just staying healthy and doing the right thing on and off the field um, to, you know, get yourself in a good position to succeed in the organization um, just day in and day out is, is really important. Kevin, thanks for the time. Really do appreciate it. Good luck the rest of the camp. Thank you very much. It's Kevin Ploiecki, Mets catching prospect right here exclusively on SNY.TV.